Randy Gilliland. I uh, have a, a company called Sustainable Impact that works on green economic development issues. I'd have to say uh, the Hampton Roads, the confluence of the James, the Elizabeth, and, and the Hampton River. Uh, I live a block off the river and uh, enjoy boating in the Hampton Roads and, and fishing and recreation there. Well, my perspective on clean water really has to do with, with two things, quality of life and economic development. And I think quality of life um, links to economic development. I have a good sense of, of what companies that uh, reside here, that want to expand here, or companies that we try to recruit to relocate here uh, are looking for. And one of the things that they're looking for is that quality of life for their employees. And the water here in the Hampton Roads region is uh, one of our most important assets. And so I think one of the things that they look at is, you know, how do you manage your assets? You know, and so as important as uh, the streams and the rivers and the harbor is here to uh, the economy and our way of life, uh, how we treat that uh, both as individuals, as businesses, uh, and as, as governments here in the region uh, sends a strong message, either positive or negative. And so my take on this really is that uh, it's an important, uh, not just quality of life issue, but really an economic issue. And so if our desire is to grow our economy here, to be able to create the kind of jobs that will um, have our children uh, return here to, to raise their families, uh, then we need to send that strong message uh, in how we take care of one of our most important assets, which is the clean water uh, here in the Chesapeake Bay. And it's